We've told you here how many big retailers are bringing back layaway purchase plans for the holidays. On Sunday, New York Senator Chuck Schumer warned consumers that layaway fees can cost more than credit card interest rates, and he asked retailers to clearly explain those fees. And here with a look at how to pay for your holiday gifts, whether layaway is right for you, is Jack Otter, executive editor of CBS Money Watch. Great to have you with us, Jack. Hey, Great to be here. Very hot topic. Thanks to Chuck Schumer, but also thanks to all the people who are contemplating what they're going to do. What is your top pick for paying? for holiday gifts. You won't believe this, but I'm going to say the old-fashioned credit card. Hmm. Now, a hole in the credit card. <laughs> the credit cards, of course, can be dangerous. Yeah. But if you pay off the balance in full every month, there are a lot of benefits. If you're buying electronics or really anything, you can get an extended warranty for another year. There are travel rewards, cash back, and they're actually getting more generous with the perks as they try to pull you away from debit cards. And this holiday season, they're throwing in some extras, like the price protection right. that Walmart offers. You can actually get a credit card that will give you the difference mm -hmm. if you find that same item for less. But okay. the caveat is not yes, spending exactly. money you don't have to pay off. Absolutely, yeah. And paying it off every single month. Uh, cash, checks, debit cards. Right, so if there's any danger, you're going to just carry that debt and, and pay interest charges, then go with cash, a debit card, or a check. Now, the problem is, of course, you don't get those protections, and this is particularly important, important for online shoppers. because yeah. With use, debit cards especially. We use that mm -hmm. debit card number, right, the money's gone, so that, that flat screen TV comes with a big crack in it. You've got to fight to get your money back. Use a check or a credit card, and you don't have that problem. So I say, if, if you you, if you don't quite have the money, maybe you don't even have good credit, you're tempted to do layaway, make your own layaway plan. Put the money in a savings account. Obviously, you only get a few pennies in interest, but at least you're paying yourself. You're not paying that $5 fee. There's no danger that you won't be able to get the item in the end. And finally, um, if, if you decide, you know what, I don't want that item, I want something else. I mean, I've got a four-year-old who changes his mind every single day what he wants for Christmas. <laughs> um, so you've got the flexibility, you buy something else. December 24, we'll see you at the store. <laughs> exactly. um, in terms of what layaway is and how it works, are there any, in your view, pros to doing it the layaway way? Well, there are. Layaway would be my third choice of how to pay for something. And there's, a, there's yeah, I said credit cards are old-fashioned. Really, layaway is old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. And I like the Yankee appeal of, you know what? You can't actually have that till you have the money to afford it. Yeah. You know, imagine that. For decades, obviously, Americans were into instant it's gratification. A shocking concept. <laughs> so I like the idea of, of hey, let, let's let's wait a bit. But you know, you do pay these fees. I, I have a little quarrel with Schumer's math. You know, if you <clears throat> look at an entire year's worth of five dollar payments a month, yes, that interest rate would be high. If you only pay it once, it's not that bad. And and again, um, you teach your children. You know what? We can't have that until we can actually afford it. Jack Otter, some good stuff. Thank you very much, sir. Good to see you. Anytime. Thanks, Jack. We appreciate it.